What's up, Tulbs? Sorry I haven't been keeping up with the latest Seahawks news for the last couple weeks. But today I will be doing um, a whole update on the last few weeks leading up to Seattle's, um, up to the NFL draft, Seattle's draft picks, and their post draft acquisitions and signings. So let's get started. About two weeks right before the draft, Seattle brought back left guard Mike Iapati for uh, on another one-year deal, bringing Seattle's guard position up to 11 players on the roster at that point. Seattle also claimed cornerback Lincoln Stevens off um, waivers after Miami cut him. He was on Seattle's practice squad last season. Coach Pete Carroll is hoping that he can compete at the slot cornerback position along with Ugo Amati, either to take that position or push Amati, which is what they're hoping for to play better and so that they get better production out of that spot unlike last year. Coming I mean, to the draft, Seattle Seahawks only had seven draft picks, not not compared to eight, nine, ten draft picks that Seattle is used to having. Um, they did not have a fifth round draft selection, they did not have a seventh, which Seattle likes to get their gems in the later rounds. They did have two second round picks, two fourth round picks, a third and a first, and also a sixth round pick. So with their first overall selection, the, 20, the 27th selection in the draft, their first round pick, Seattle took linebacker Jordan Brooks. Quite a surprise, you know, like Seattle needed a pass rusher or even a tackle to replace, you know, J.B. on Clowney or, or uh, Jermaine Fetty. But um, apparently they were in the middle of a trade negotiation with the team. It fell through. They didn't have time. So they went and selected linebacker Jordan Brooks, who is a decent player. He has a lot of characteristics to Bobby Wagner. He spent a lot of his high school career and college playing off the edge, playing the Sam and uh, Will linebacker positions, and then in his senior season he played the middle linebacker role. Seattle really liked him. They were he was considered one of the best linebackers in this draft. So um, I'm, I don't hate the pick. He's a he's a good he's a good linebacker. I'm just surprised Seattle didn't go and sign. Um, pass rusher Ito Gross Matos or CJ Epineza. Um, yeah, um, I would have preferred them getting a higher, a bigger um, pass rusher or even a tackle, but that's what they took. It was quite a shock. And then in the second round, Seattle traded up with the New York Jets and selected pass rusher Daryl Taylor out of Tennessee. Uh, really good pass rusher. He was considered in Seattle's eyes, you know, he was considered second or at least a top five pass rusher in this year's draft. He, the reason why he dropped down so low was he played injured all of last season with a um, fractured leg. He still had decent stats, um, and his overall college career was pretty good. He's really quick. He really good in the run game. Seattle was really happy to get him. Uh, they gave up a third round, their third round draft selection and their uh, first second um, round pick, which was their own, uh, to g go up and get um, get uh, Daryl Taylor. And then with their second uh, second round pick, which they got from the New York, uh, from the Kansas City Chiefs um, in the Frank Clark trade, they traded back into the third round and were able to get an early third round selection and a uh, fifth round selection. So in the third round they took one, two, three. So in the third round, they took offensive guard Damian Williams to um, Pete Carroll said to compete for that uh, left guard position um, with DJ Fluker. Um, um, they were hoping it, Pete Carroll was hoping to get younger on the offensive line. Um, hopefully, in the future, let go of some of the bigger, more expensive players and have depth there. Um, I know they did. They have been bringing in a whole bunch of guards. Um, during free agency, but they seem more like camp bodies or to have, you know, basically those players they signed are more like for depth players to play, could possibly back up, you know, the starters during the regular season. 